This is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon rising, Venus, and Jupiter, you guys. Keep it on the energies are fluid, so it can go vice versa. Don't get hung up on the signs or genders. You guys, stick around for your free personal readings. I'm going to tell you how to get those, okay? Yes, you're going to get two free personal readings, you guys. All of you. Every one of you. All right? So stick around, okay? I'll let you know how to do that. Let's jump into the reading. Hope you're doing well. Such. I got the sniffles. All right, let's see what's going on here. We got the Hierophant. Oh, all right. Oh, shit. Bodies everywhere, bodies everywhere. Let the bodies hit the flow. Okay, so. Oh, okay, well, we got two stuck to each other. I don't know who you're dealing with. Who else got that? Who else got that? That omen. Stuck together. I heard we stick together. We stick together. I don't know if that's a song. <laughs> well, you could be dealing with Leo. Maybe it was Leo that got that. I think it was. Who am I doing? Sag? I could have sworn I was doing Taurus. Now I'm doing Sag, right? This is Sagittarius. You dealing with Leo? We stick together. I heard we stick together. Oh, very rare. You're rare. This connection is rare. Okay, if it's not a Leo, I'm hearing this is a very rare connection. I'm hearing I found the one. You are the one. I'm getting a proposal. Sagittarius, someone is coming in with a proposal. You're feeling like you want to propose. They're feeling nostalgic. This is someone who, you, who loves you. This is someone who you... I don't think you've been together with this person. I feel like this is like a, a fucking childhood friend or something. Like, what is that? Hold on, you guys. Let me move this. That's a childhood friend. I don't know why I'm hearing we stick together. <laughs> why do I keep hearing that song? I don't even know if that's a song, but I keep hearing it. And I'm seeing like two kids like holding hands. Like Jack and Jill vibes. I don't know. Like I'm getting like Jack and Jill and up the hill. What is this? I don't know what this is, you guys. This is really weird. Anyways, I'm hearing that we stick together. We have the Hierophant coming up first. The energy you're embodying. I'm getting wifey material, husband material. Someone who's some somebody. The okay. This is definitely a love story. Typically, I wouldn't jump right in and say, oh, the Hierophant is about love and this and that. It's about the church. It's more about the church. It's about, um, I would say, forbidden knowledge because if you look, there's a pyramid, right? There's the eye at the top right there. I am getting, though, like this Queen of Wands, okay? When she walks into a room, Sag, just know this is the energy you're embodying. I always hear that song, the men all pause. So, um... Someone has either found you, it feels like they hit the jackpot, they feel like they won. I'm getting like, I, I've, I've done it, I've done it, I've freaking done it. And, um, or this is someone you grew up with who's like been waiting and waiting for you to be single. Okay, I don't know what that is, but yeah, with the two of swords, it's like someone who's been waiting and waiting for you to make a decision or to be single, I'm hearing, be single. I don't know why I'm getting that with the nine of cups, I'm hearing that. I don't know why, because typically I only get there with the nine of pentacles, but the way that eight of pentacles is in the position of how they're seeing you, it's like they're waiting for you to give up on something, okay? The eight of pentacles is like tunnel vision. It's, it's in the reverse, and then you have the two of, two of swords, and then the position of how they feel is the six of cups. It's like, they have nostalgia. They, the three of wands, like, they're tired of waiting. They're they're getting antsy. I'm hearing ants in my pants. I got ants in my pants. They're waiting for you to, like, break up with somebody. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Look at this. Four of cups, missed opportunity. Like, every time you, every time this person comes around, you are not single. 
Like every time that you like, I'm hearing maybe even your dad or your mom was like, "How come you know whatever happened to so and so? How come you're not with the Leo? How come you're not with the Virgo? How come you haven't been hanging out with the Taurus? How come you and the Taurus don't like hang out together? How come um, and they try to fix you up or they tell you, oh, have you seen so and so? I'm hearing the girl next door. Like your mom or dad still lives next door to their parents or something like that. I'm hearing like your grandma still lives next to their friend, their parents or something like that. I'm hearing every time you go home to visit, you see them and they're like, oh, have you seen so-and-so? <laughs> like, have you seen what's his face? Like, what's her face? No, I haven't. Well, you know, she's single, right? I keep seeing this like, and then I heard the song, we stick together. I don't know if that's a song. Or what? Like, is that a fucking song? I don't know. But it's like somebody's watering their grass that's not... They're keeping their lawn... I'm hearing someone keeping their lawn beautiful for you. And I don't know what that's alluding to. <laughs> Shave up the pum pum. <laughs> Shout out to D Virgo Tarot. She's so funny. Shave up the pum pum. I love when she says that. Shave up the pum pum. You don't know who's coming. Shave up the pum pum. Oh, I love her so much. Okay. I don't know. Like, I'm getting like your parents are in cahoots or something like that. I'm hearing they they always think about you. The way they feel about you is that six of cups. Okay. So very nostalgic. There's definitely an indication you have some sort of history with this person. It doesn't have to be an ex-lover. It could be someone from your childhood, man. This could be someone you grew up with who you never in a million years would think had feelings for you. Okay? Trust me. Um, they're like, oh my God, I keep hearing, shave up the poom poom. <laughs> Girl, you need to go to the salon. You need to get your hair did. You need to go get a wax, okay? Somebody is like, this is the energy. You got the six of swords here. I'm going to read that to you guys. Man, first of all, I'm going to read both of them because you have two sixes in your reading. The energy is very significant. Six is a very family-oriented number. We have the sun card. This speaks to family harmony. This speaks of laughter. Children laughing in the home. Um, you may not have children with this person or you both have I'm hearing blended families. Some of you may have blended families, but you are this person's wish fulfillment. They they see they see the future with you. They see their future with you. They've waited for a long time. Like I'm getting like with the six of with the six of swords. I'll just I'll just talk about this for a second because I feel like with this four of swords, you have two fours and two sixes. Okay, you have the four of swords and then you have the four of cups. One is missed opportunity. One is gaining clarity. Someone's having trouble about this, but someone's having trouble gaining clarity about the situation and how to handle it. Because every time they come around, it feels like they don't know. You're not giving them the signals, man. Give them the signal. Satch, give them the signal. Let them know. I'm hearing they don't want to. They have a lot of respect for you. So they don't want to come towards you. This person really adores you, man. Okay, so the Six of Swords. Okay, well, let me just tell you what it means. Okay, Six of Swords. It's like transition. It's talking about migration. It's talking about letting go. Somebody's having a hard time letting go with the four of swords of, of something um, with you. This is like, they, I'm hearing old memories of the six of cups, okay? Um, like, I'm hearing too, like they're trying to stay afloat. Like there could be something that has been kept, has keeping them from you. It could have to do with their environment. Um, There's something about leaving home too. Like I feel like they had some anxiety about graduating high school or something, leaving home because you were still at home or you were living with your parents or something. Like they got kicked out. I'm not hearing somebody got kicked out of their house and they all they could think about was you. Like they'll never see you again or what's gonna happen is, you know, um, sad. I just keep hearing that. Anyways, it's remind it's here to tell you opportunities were limited in the past. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of opportunities coming in. Um, if you felt like you have a missed opportunity with this person, whether this be you or them, um, there will be another opportunity coming up. I'm hearing the number four very significantly, the number six. So I'm hearing April, I'm hearing June, between between April and June, okay. I also heard somebody's um somebody's birthday, okay. So um I also heard Leo season, so I'm gonna be doing with a Leo. Or this is gonna be like summertime. I'm I'm getting like you're gonna rekindle. You're gonna you guys are gonna laugh. Somebody's gonna laugh because it, someone's gonna tell the other person, "Hey, I've always liked you." 
I've always had feelings for you, and it's gonna it's gonna throw you for a loop. I keep hearing that you're gonna you're gonna be surprised, and that I keep hearing that song. Oh my god, we stick together, we stick together. <laughs> I don't know who sings that. I don't even know if that's a real song. I don't know where that came from. It's like a jingle. It's like I don't know if that was a commercial or what, but I keep hearing it. We stick together. Okay, this person is very nostalgic. Um, there's a sense of familiar, familiarity with you, innocence. Also, like, um, it's talking about, like, playing. I'm hearing playing, like, kids laughing. This person and you go way back. Oh, my God. Like, you guys would never in a million years think it's this person. <laughs> like, I'm getting, I'm getting chills all over. Um, it's letting you know that there's something going to happen, that there's something that's going to be brought up and it's going to make you smile, okay? Um, it's saying, we're up, okay, this, also with, the, the, also with this message, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble because the three of wands is in the, in the position of how they feel about you. It's like no longer waiting. This could be something to do with your obligations as well. So I'm hearing um, responsibilities. They're saying responsibilities can feel heavy as you grow older and there is a wish to go back in time here. So some of you could be feeling like you could be reminiscent of some 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 sort of phase that you went through at a young age. It could involve this person and you're wanting to go back in time. You're wanting to go travel. You're wanting to go see where you grew up and you might do that, Sad. You might go and revisit this area. I'm getting like another state that you don't live in anymore and you might run into them. And I feel like you might, you both might be there at the same time doing the same thing. It's really crazy. Um... There's, this is also too for some of you. This is about reuniting with your inner child because you know if you the sense of nostalgia is also about reuniting with your inner child, letting him or her come out to play. Don't lose that child sense of wonder, you guys. You get the sun card. The sun card here. That energy is very abundant here with this uh, Leo, the Queen of Wands, and the Sun. So um, they're saying they're reminding you. Don't let don't with six of the six of cups. Do not forget who you are. Okay. Um, and to, to make room for happiness, make room for laughter, joy. Keep your heart open. Feel the purity of your childhood innocence. Let it fill you up, you guys, with inspiration and lighthearted fun. And if you have to, like, hang around your kids more often to bring that part of you out, do it. Because that is the most beautiful part of having kids. I feel like, um, I don't know, I feel so young when I'm with my kids playing, you know. Anyways, um... If this is a connection that you guys have been wanting, it's coming in. There is commitment here. I feel like this could involve a Leo, a Virgo. Some of you a Leo, Virgo cusp. I'm hearing a, um, a Taurus. I'm hearing an Earth sign, so maybe Capricorn. Okay, I heard Scorpio. <sighs> Who else? I heard... Um... I have to close my eyes. Libra. Okay, I heard Libra. All right, so I don't know who, who that's for, but I hope it resonated. You guys, if you made it this far, check out your free personal readings down below. They are the first two links. I hope you enjoy them. Yes, take advantage of those. They are free. They're the first two links. And then you have the um, 2022 predictions over on the featured video section. Okay, it's the first um, video on the channel. Just click on that, and then it'll take you to the comment section. Go to the comment section that's linked there. You'll get a free reading there as well. Tons of stuff. Just browse, I guess. Browse if you're new. Browse all the free goodies. There's so many. I love you guys. If you're trying to book a reading with me, that's Leo Sun Pisces Moon dot Business dot site. That information is below as well. And I am available Monday through Friday. Okay, only. I love you guys so much. You have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.